Well, it's great to see everyone here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to the words which will unite Jeremy and Hunter in marriage. The Bible defines marriage to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Hey everyone, my name is Pavin. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Hunter's younger brother and our parents' favorite child. Jeremy, I spent a lot of time and intentional effort loving my daughter. A bunch of adventures, just one-on-one -on -one time. Her mother and I invested in her to help her know her value, her worth. Throughout the years of her growing up, I would always repeat a phrase to her. I would always repeat something to her and tell her, I said, Hunter, this is the guy you choose. This is the guy you settle on for marriage, a guy that does this. Do you remember what I would tell you? She doesn't remember. I did a great job <laughs> as a father. If you don't know me, my name is Derek Mann. I am Jeremy's older, wiser, better looking, more athletic, taller brother. Just all around best man. See what I did there? I've never actually gotten to make a joke over her last name. What I would tell her is, I'd say, Hunter, find a guy, marry a guy that loves you as much as your dad or more. Remember? Jeremy, you're the one she found and she chose. And I'm happy to say it's because you do exactly that. You love her so well. I love how you care for her. You balance each other out. You keep each other grounded. You keep each other feeling loved and safe. I see you guys sacrificing for each other. Sacrificial love is the key. When God made my sister, he knew exactly what to do. God gave her good looks, good humor, a loving character. But the thing about God, he gives you qualities throughout your life. I'm not the most outgoing or social person. So making friends for me was a little difficult. As a kid, I always prayed and wished that I could just find that person. I spent all this time searching when God had made my best friend before I was even born. My best friend was you, sis. I love you both and wish you two the best. <laughs> Like you other parents here today, I'll never forget finding out that I was gonna be a parent. I mean, in that millisecond that I found out I was gonna be a dad, my world literally changed. And nine months later, we got to meet you, Hunter. Are you kidding me? I made this. <laughs> Hunter, when I met you, I thought I knew what love was, but you showed me that I had no idea what true love meant. Remember on our first date when instantly we were comfortable and goofy around each other? I knew then that I was in trouble. Jeremy, there are completely unexplainable things that happen in people's lives where the only explanation is Jesus. I like to call these Jesus moments. Maybe a prayer was answered or a sign that was needed, or the timing of something was a little too perfect. You have been there through my greatest challenges and stood by my side and encouraged me to grow and become the person I am today. Forever with you will never be long enough. But from this day forward, I promise to be your honest, faithful, loving husband for the rest of my days. I love you forever and always, Jeremy. I believe if I would have met you sooner, I wouldn't have been ready the way God wanted me to be for you. Our paths crossing when they did, the timing of it all, and the many prayers I prayed for you without even knowing you, the man God had just for me. There's only one explanation for that. Jeremy, you are my Jesus moment. I couldn't imagine someone more perfectly made just for me, and your unwavering, unconditional love for me is unmatched. I will love you today, tomorrow, and the rest of my life, because Jeremy, man, you are my Jesus moment. Our mom used to always tell us, just wait. Someday, you two will be best friends. We used to say in response, yeah, right, that loser sucks. I hate to say it, mother, but you were right. Jeremy, you are someone I consider one of my best friends. I 
I can't say how proud of you that I am. I love you. So will everyone please join me in a toast and celebrating this new couple. I love you both. I announce to you today that they are indeed husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jeremy Mann. Jeremy, you may kiss your bride.